Hello and welcome back to Fun with Open Computers. No, well, anyway, it's been a, it's been a while, so um, I'll be doing a quick demo of a new feature in Open Computers that will be coming in the next version. And that feature is nano machines. So nano machines are basically a power-driven uh, buff system, you could say. So. Um, Let's start with this first. This item has been in Open Computers for, well, since the start. But for now it's only been used in the hard mode recipe set, now it's also used in the normal one, and it's used for crafting the nano machines. So yeah, that's pretty simple. Anyway, so once you've crafted these, so this item here, these nano machines, what you can do is basically you eat them. So I can't because I already have some in me. Um, why, I'll tell you in a minute. But trust me, you can just eat them and then you will get a little power indicator to the left of your health bar, so the one you see down to the left here. This is the uh, indicator of how much energy is left for the nanomachines to use. Um, and they use it over time, depending on uh, what they do, essentially. So if we have a look at the manual entry for the nanomachines, so you can find that under items, uh, nanomachines, or just, as usual, in the usage screen of the nanomachine item. You'll get a bit of uh, introduction of how they work, and then you'll also see down here a list of uh, methods that you can invoke on them via, as you can see here, via a wireless protocol. So this may look a bit daunting at first, but it's really quite simple. It's essentially like remote method calls and you get replies uh, in the form of uh, wireless me messages again. So to make this a bit easier, I did write a little program for my tablet here, which obviously has a wireless card in it, and this, what you see here, is essentially the list of commands you can send to them. It's just a little easier to uh, see this way and to use. Um, one note, if you want to send messages to the wireless machines in, well, inside you or any other player, you have to be at least uh, two meters or closer to the player. So any further than two meters away and the wireless message will be ignored. So what this allows you is to control what they do. Um, a quick introduction to how they essentially work from the uh, basics is uh, the nano machines. you can imagine them connecting to uh, the nervous system of the player. So they provide a number of inputs and each input basically being a boolean input um, of whether they should emit a signal or not on this input and there's a certain number of inputs so for example in this case uh, we have 17 inputs and each input can trigger one or more effects and uh, these effects can be of well any nature essentially but the default ones for now are a certain subset of potion effects um, particle, particle effects that can spawn to balance it out a bit and to, for now, special effects that are implemented. Um, if I have ideas for more stuff, I will add it. If you have ideas for stuff, let me know and I'll think about adding it. And this number here, uh, it depends on how many of such effects are available anyway. So this is to counteract the randomness a bit, because, as mentioned, the inputs randomly connect to the outputs. And you can basically re-roll your connections by calling this reconfigure method. That way you get a new set of connections from inputs to outputs, and you may get a more desirable outcome. So, for example, if you had one where you wanted to get a certain potion effect, but it also had a negative potion effect, like you had regeneration, but it also had wither on it. Maybe you want one where you only have regeneration. So then you want to reconfigure and check your inputs if you now have one that uh, fulfills what you want. Um, there's also the concept of safe inputs, though. So as you see, you have 17. That would be pretty easy to just enable them all and get everything in here, which would be insane. So the safe input count, which is by default 2, um, means you can only have this many active inputs before bad things start happening. Um, well, uh, feel free to try out what these bad things are yourself. Um, the power state is basically just getting um, how much energy is still available for the nanomachines of how much they can store. And that's about it. So 
Then the next thing is the active effects. This is getting a list of um, currently active effects triggered by the inputs. So for example, if I go ahead and enable the eighth input, then I can see, okay, now I have particle effects, lots of particle effects. So if I step out a bit, then you can see, well, I spawn tons of particles now. But that's usually not what you want. I mean, it's nice to look at, but it's kind of pointless. So what you're usually looking for is potion effects or... Uh, what was the number five it was? Stuff like this. So potion effects like water breathing, of course. Um, these will immediately be disabled when you disable the uh, effect. So for example, if I turn this off again, then the water breathing is gone too. So the high, the 30 seconds you saw there are really, oops, yes, no, I'm right, yes. Uh, adjust to uh, make certain potion effects work like night vision and nausea and stuff like that. So don't get uh, irritated by this number, just ignore it. It's just permanent, as long as the nanomachines have power. Um, but what you also saw was this here. So that's essentially a, an effect that's one of the special effects. It will draw items in a certain radius around you in, um, which is quite useful. I mean, other mods do this too, of course, but, well, you know. Um, another note, uh, each behavior, so for example this magnet mode, um, can have multiple active inputs. So as soon as one input is active, it will be enabled, but if there are two inputs, so for example if input 1 and 2 are connected to the same behavior, you can have both active at once and it will have two inputs. Um, this will strengthen the effect. For example, for potion effects, this will increase the uh, amplifier, and for the magnet um, effect, for example, it will increase the radius. And besides that, there's also one more. Uh, let's disable this one first. And oh, God damn it! Oops, uh, that would be uh, a hidden effect. So there can also be hidden effects. So what we see here is just the particles and the dig speed, which is nice, but it's not what we are actually interested in here, because if I run up to this dirt, you'll see it just starts breaking. So that's the second special effect for now. Um, this basically automatically breaks uh, blocks in a radius around the player. By default, a 1x1, one one, uh, a 1 radius, so a 3x3x3 three three three, um, bounding box around, the, well, at, above the player, so it won't go down. Um, this will also, let's see, if you go down here, uh, Geronimo, um, this will also work well on stone, for example, but this is slow, of course, because this will emulate you breaking it with whatever you currently have selected. So in this case, a tablet, which is obviously not ideal. So if I take a pickaxe, bam. But what we also notice is the pickaxe now has 1344, and now it has 1341. So it'll take damage. So basically what this does is you'll just mine normally, but, uh, well, more blocks at once, so faster, yay! So that's the other one, which is pretty neat actually, it's quite handy. And as with the other effect, it also increases in radius the more inputs it has. So now let's get back here to show the last point of interest, and that would be how do you charge the nano machines, well, simply, you basically just stand next to a charger that's active, and as you can see, the battery icon there, that's slowly filling up, so the nano machines get charged. So yeah, I think that about covers it for the basics. Um, obviously, this may need some tuning balance-wise in the future. I think it's pretty fine for now, but we'll see. Um, for example, some potion effects may turn out to be a little bit too powerful to be uh, driven this way. Uh, there's actually already a blacklist in the config, and you can, of course, as usual, change that too. Uh, it contains a few potion effects that are a bit crazy to have in there, such as instant healing and stuff like that. Most negative effects, however, are still in there, so beware of stuff like wither and the hurting effect, which will probably kill you pretty quickly. 
So that's a bit of the risk involved in using the nanomachines to keep it uh, somewhat exciting. Right, so that's it from me for now. Uh, hope you'll have fun with the new feature. I think I will have. If you have any ideas, as mentioned, um, for fun effects that would not be overpowered, please uh, let me know. Drop by on GitHub and post a suggestion, or on the forums, or on IRC, or anything as usual. And yeah, that's it for now. See you.